Hello everyone, welcome back to Demon Souls. I am your host, Final Dream. And we're going to continue right on to the next boss. Though, do be careful on your way down as you can take fall damage. Though, if you don't care about that, you can go the quick way. No, no, no! Alright. So, the next boss is right through this fog. Go forth, Galvinland. May you be unharmed. God damn, he is such a badass. Leave us, slayer of demons. This is a sanctuary for the lost and the wretched. There is nothing here for you to pillage or plunder. Please. Leave quietly. I will not leave quietly. It is all about power. It is about the souls that I will tear from you. It is about making a point, and you have abandoned the church, Umbasa. Oh god, almost fell. I can't end something cool like that with falling like a twat. Why did I say twat? Ugh. Alright, time for something not so fun. Uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I remember right, his armor is magic resistant. Oh, god damn it. Wrath of the God? Yeah. Oh, what the? I thought I was out of range. That's the miracle I want. Wrath of the Gods. And this is why I have so much trouble with him, because I'm always trying to parry his ass. What? That was totally a parry. Ugh. Nope, that was too soon. I'm gonna use all my healing herbs just right here. Did I buy poison arrows? Damn it, if I did, I don't have them with me. I, I will get this parry, even if it kills me. Which it most likely will.
Oh, way too soon. Way too soon. Oh. One parry, that's all I need. What? Come on! I am totally parrying at the right time with that one! This is fucking ridiculous. I know I'm parrying at the right time. Alright, I guess fuck it. I won't be hearing. Let's put on the dragon long sword. Okay, that does even less. That's Oh, this is going to take a while. Shit. I can't remember if he heals if you let him back away for too long. Good to know he still staggers, but that hammer of his when he's swinging it, he's gonna have hyper armor. Now this part is really sad. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, let's just put the white lotus in our hot bar real quick. Along with the royal lotus. You. You killed him, didn't you? Very well. I can no longer resist you. Do as you like. Take your precious demon soul. I always... I, I hate this boss because... It's just so sad. Now we also got a ring from her. Here, raise miracle power and casting time. Praise the sun, yo. <laughs> but if I'm not mistaken. Oh, do you have further? Resurrect. Not actually what I was thinking of. Miracle from the demon made in Australia's soul. Return any phantom near the castle back to the own world, granting them their living body. Not something we're ever going to make use of. God, Mbasa. But it's good to have nonetheless, I think. Alright, just going to do a...
quick suicide, which is a terrible thing to say, but quite accurate as to what we're doing. Saint Urbane. But what we're actually going to continue to do in this episode is go back to 5 1. Before we do our uh, level up. Yeah, 51,000. But yeah, I might just cut out this run. Maybe not. Since. I should, since you guys have already seen this. See, I'm just trying to remember the fastest way to where I want to go. Okay, not what I planned. Is he gonna come down? No. Now, I can't remember... There is, there is somewhere to fall. Okay. I guess maybe I will stick showing this in since I am picking up some new items. Crescent Moon Crass. Haven't used that in quite a while. You. Guys don't do a lot of damage, but they are annoying. Let's see, where exactly am I? Okay, I think I know where I am. Pretty sure I'm right where I want to be. Oh my, that is a lot of them. Well, at least they died in one hit. That was something. Oh, we're gonna have to deal with those rats again. I mean, it wasn't a big issue the first time, it's just annoying. Am I where I want to be? Ah, yes, I am. I just have to go down a little further. You can see she's actually moved on and will not be here anymore as we saw earlier. Shit. I believe I mentioned that these guys give you the plague if they hit you. Hopefully I did. 
Now you can fall down over there and there's some extra items, but I'm pretty sure I will die if I do that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that for the moment. Yes, the ladder is, in fact, down. That is very good. Come on. Ow. Oh, bullshit. Bullshit. Woo. Alright. Now, up here is a world, pure world right tendency event. Meaning you can only get it if you have pure right real tendency as we have there at the bottom right of our valley of defilement. Pricks. I also want to remove these because I don't think we're going to need them. And these um, tendency events generally lead to special items or character appearances. Such as black phantoms and uh, pathways opening up. This is one that I generally don't do because I don't have faith builds all that often. And if I do do it, it's because I just want all the items for a playthrough. And you can see it right there. I was about to say, did he seriously not move? Apparently getting shot in the head isn't such a big deal after all. <laughs> Anything? No. Right, gotta, gotta get a good angle. Or, it just does that to me. Isterel. Sorry for the mis mispronunciation there. Increases poison and plague resistance. It lowers our damage, but that's because it goes off magic attack. Ooh, we're going to need a lot more dexterity for this. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to not spend all of our souls at once. When I didn't know the stats for this weapon. Alright everyone, I'm going to level up my dexterity to 18, anything extra will go to Faith, and we will continue with the Tower of Latria. So I will see you guys all in the next episode.